In the Jobs section, you can see the work list. Add planned or unplanned jobs, view upcoming jobs, and print the work list. The work list, by default, is arranged chronologically based on deadlines. However, you can sort the sections in ascending or descending order. You can also filter the jobs by equipment, job title, and type of job. To add or remove sections in the work list table header, click the settings button. Click the slider next to the name to add or remove the sections. It will automatically be saved. To print the work list, click the print button. Change the settings for the printout if needed. Click the print button and you will be directed to the browser's printing page. Print as you would normally. To add a planned job, click the Add Plan Job button. Select the equipment it's for and fill in the information needed. Choose if it's a repeating job or not. Click the Post button to complete. It will automatically redirect you to the detailed view of the job. You will see the main files related to the equipment itself, the service manual, parts manual, specifications, and drawing. These will show up in all the jobs if you upload them on the first job created for that equipment or on the most recent one. You can also upload manual pages, electric drawings, and images related to the job. These files will only be visible to the job that you uploaded them on. In the description section, you can also make the tasks for a particular job be a checklist for more efficient job submission. To make a checklist, click the Create Checklist button. Copy first the text you want to add in the checklist. Click the Create Checklist button. Put in the item and click Add to complete. Do it multiple times until you've added everything. The checklist will show up on top of the Submit Job tab. To edit the items on the checklist, click the Create Checklist button. Click the text you want to edit. Press the Enter button to complete. To delete an item, click the Delete text on the right side. Click Yes to complete. To upload files in any section, click the Upload button under the section name. For the Files section, you will be asked to label the file name first before uploading. Click the Add button. Make sure to only upload the format files allowed. Click the Submit button to complete. To delete a file, Click the Delete button under Documents. Choose the file on the list. You can view it first to make sure. Then click the Trash button that is only visible when you hover over the file name. If you mistakenly delete the main files for the equipment itself, that is, either the drawing, service manual, parts manual or specification, just make sure to add them on the most recent job uploaded and it will be visible again to the rest of the jobs. To add an unplanned job, click the Add Unplanned Job button. Fill in the information and click Post to complete. You can find it in the job list by clicking the funnel next to the Type section in the work list. To see the upcoming jobs, First make sure that Completed Jobs is checked under the Job Title section. Click the Upcoming Jobs button. You can search them by date or by hours. To edit a job, click on the job title in the work list. You can search for it in the search bar if it's not visible right away. Click the Edit Text. 
make the changes you want and click the Save button to complete. You can also delete a job this way. Just click the Delete Job text and click Yes in the pop-up. To postpone a job, find the job in the work list. Click the Postpone Job slider to postpone. You can undo it by clicking the slider again. To complete a job, click on the job title in the work list. Under Description, you can see the tasks for the job and the different pages from the service manual specific for each task. If the job has a checklist, you can just click on the checkbox or boxes and they will automatically be put in the work history text box on the right. If not, then you can write down the work you've done manually. You may click the Save Draft button first before proceeding to upload images or service report. You can upload an image by clicking the Upload box under the Work History text box. You can also attach a service report by clicking the Attach Service Report text under the Image Upload box. Before submitting the job, fill in the date done, running hours if applicable, job done by and signed in behalf of fields. Once the job is submitted, it cannot be edited anymore.